you know about me, what you want you to know. Said my lip gloss is cool, my lip gloss be popping. I'm sipping in my locker and all the boys keep stopping. What you know about me, what you what you know about me, what you know about me, what you what you know. Said my lip gloss is popping, my lip gloss is cool. Or welcome to my channel, you guys. So today I'm here with a clothing haul. Yes, y'all. I love doing clothing hauls. If you've been following my channel for a while, then you probably know that I do a lot of wig videos, hair videos, which is you know not what my channel originally started out as, kind of turned into a hair channel, which was not my intentions. I'm not gonna let it be that either, because I'm still post all the other content that I like doing too. But um, I love doing wig videos as well. But you know, I've been doing those for a while, and I've been doing a lot of those, and it's just been mainly those. And I want to get back to doing you know all the other content I love too. So. I'm bringing the clothing hauls back, baby. But yeah, if you've also been following my channel from the beginning or just for a long time, then you know that clothing hauls ain't nothing new on my channel. I'm gonna list a bunch right here, up here in the cards. Y'all can go watch my other clothing hauls. I got Fashion Nova, Pretty Little Thing, AliExpress, Shein, Wholesale 7, all that. So go check out my other clothing hauls if you're interested in that type of content. But yeah, I also do hair content, wig videos. I also do makeup. I will be incorporating press-on videos as well because if you don't know, I sell press-on that I make myself on my website, fushibeauty.com. That is my brand. But I make press-ons and there are a few people that wanted to see how I make them and package them and all that. So there is a video coming on that soon. I've already filmed it. But anywho, today's clothing haul is actually a sponsored video. And as I'm sure that y'all seen by the title, the sponsor for today's video is Jerly She. They were kind of to send me over eight items to try on for you guys. And yeah, if you don't know, they were formerly known as African Mall, but now they're called Jerly She. I'm sure most people know that by now. They've been Jerly She for a while now. But if you didn't, know that they were formerly known as African Mall, which you also might have heard of before. But yeah, I'm super excited to do this video. I was so excited when they hit me up to do this video. But let's just jump right into it. I've been talking for too long. Let's go. So first, I'm going to start off with what I'm wearing. We're going to start with the top. And it's just this cream color crop top. And it says Celine in black letters. And also has black stitching here and also around the neck and also around the bottom of the shirt. So I thought that was really cute. They have a lot of dupes, like designer dupes on Jerly She. And I have a couple of them in this haul. So I'm excited for that. But yeah, it just says Celine right here. Real basic crop top, cute. You can easily style this. Real cute piece for the summer, spring, even fall, early fall. But I got this in a size small. Most of my items are in a size small, except two of the items. But I'll let y'all know that when I get to them. Let me get up close so y'all can see. So yes, this is what the top looks like. Really cute. And it's kind of sort of like a mock neck. It doesn't go like, it's not turtleneck. So it's kind of like a mock neck type of crop top. But yes, I really like it. Real simple, real cute. And the material is like a polyester, like that polyester spin type of material that's what it is but yeah i like it i like the quality of it it's not see-through or nothing like that and the back of the top is black so it's got like a little color block moment going on really cute simple piece easy to style this coming up spring and summer well spring's already here so this spring coming up summer early fall yeah i like it really cute i'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 on to the next item all right y'all i gotta back up a little bit this next item is actually the pants that i'm wearing and they're just these camo cargo pants i love me some cargo pants i love me some joggers all that that's like my type of style my type of vibe i really be dressing all type of ways i love like tomboy looks and sneaker looks i like dresses i like dressing up being real girly i like y2k it ain't no limit it ain't no limit to how i dress but i love me some cargo pants yeah these ones are really good quality like the material is thick there's nothing thin about these nothing cheap about these the material is super nice it has pockets on the side right here and they do work okay y'all know how they like to play with them pockets be having pockets on here that don't work but yeah they have pockets on each side that do work and they also have pockets right here that also work i don't think there are any pockets on the back no they're also belt loops so if you want to wear a belt you can i won't be wearing one i got these pants in the size medium this is one of the items that i did get in the medium because i tend to size up with like my joggers and stuff like that and i'm so glad i did because if if I had gotten a small in this, I would not have liked the fit of them. I know some things come oversized and you can get like your regular size in it, but this is not one of those cases. So if you want like a baggier or oversized look, I suggest you size up. Cause yeah, I'm normally a size small in pants, but I got a medium in these. And this is what the back looks like. Really cute, I love these. I'm so excited to style it. I really like it with this top actually. It kind of matches the vibe, like the cream color and like it just goes like the little earthy tone. That's what it is. I like earthy tones together, but yes, I love these 10 out of 10. I love me some cargo pants and some good quality cargo pants yes ma'am there's a it zips right here and buttons in the front so that's how you get them on and y'all probably can't 
see, but they are cuffed at the bottom. It's not like a, let me show y'all what I'm talking about. I got some pants over here that I can show y'all. Instead of trying to hold my foot up, it's like this. That's what the bottom of the pants look like. This type of scrunch. That's what the cuff looks like on the bottom. So it's not like, you know, a regular hem or nothing like that. Yeah, I think it's really cute. I thought it'd be really cute to style also. If I wore this top with it, I thought it'd be really cute to style with um my dunks that I just recently got. I already posted a picture in these, but like you see, you see this cream color? Matches perfect with the shirt, the earthy tones, the green. You, you get it. You get what I'm saying. It's a vibe. And you get you a cute little green bag. Get some other shade of green or just a cream bag if you want to. You can even do black. But yeah, that's how I would style this, honestly. Like, I would actually wear this together. But yeah, I love these. 10 out of 10. On to the next item. All right, y'all. So the next item I got is this graphic white crop tank. And this is one of the dupes I was talking about. This supposed to be um, a Chrome Hearts dupe. If you've ever seen this logo, these crosses, Chrome Hearts. So. So yeah, it's just a basic white crop top with the black crosses right here. It's a ribbed material, really nice material, not see-through, and it fits perfectly like it's a perfect fit, like not too loose, not too big, anywhere. I got this top in a size small. Let me get up close so y'all can see the material. <laughs> on a budget with the chrome hearts do but yeah anyway this is what the material looks like it's just a rib you know material y'all know what white tank tops y'all know like the white beater tank tops that's what it looks like but yeah this is the back of it if y'all wanted to see and i like this it's really cute simple to style white and black you can never go wrong with real easy to style you can really wear it with a lot of different things jeans i'm wearing joggers you know some black joggers with white details the white with the black detail you know you see you can really style it any type of way i probably wear this i probably wear this like this or either with some shorts like sweatshorts Instead of sweatpants, I'll probably wear sweatshorts if it's hot. Or I would even wear it with joggers. I don't really wear jeans that often, so I'm not like a jeans type of person. But yeah, I'll wear it like this or wear it with some all black cargo pants, black bag. But yeah, it's really cute and I love the material. Really good quality. 10 out of 10. They 3 and 0 right now. So yeah, but again, all 10s for me. I love this quality. Like, it's not cheap at all. Like, I love this. And I feel like I'm going to get a lot of wears out of it. So yeah i love it on to the next item all right y'all so this is the next item this biker type of jacket i got this in a size small really cute and it fits really well it's big enough for me to zip it if i wanted to wear it like that i probably wouldn't wear it zipped but if you want to zip it you can the sleeves also come all the way down to my wrist so that's good and it's like like i said it's like a biker pu leather type of material you know what i'm saying this is also really good quality and like not cheap feeling at all but yeah let me show y'all the details on the jacket let's get into it this is it up close it's got it's like a color block thing going on it's got white and then orange and black and it's got this orange and white little detail right here on both the sleeves and then also the words are orange and white i don't even know what does it say oh simplicity that's what it says simplicity on both arms and then it's got you know a little details it says start with the red and green it's you i don't know what that is v3 the red white and black what does this say i don't know what that says simplicity across here in the black and white and then the red white and black start right here so yeah i'll probably style it with a leather skirt a black leather skirt or black leather pants and probably some leather heels or if you want to dress it down and wear sneakers i'll probably wear my shadow backboards my ones because of the black and orange but you really could wear you know whatever you want that's just how i would style it and you could even accessorize one of these colors like the red to bring out like you know the little red details here or with it being red and green see now see i get to thinking y'all with the red and green i really could wear my pine green ones with the red laces in it to bring out the green and the red and then wear a black bag or a white bag that would be really cute but i probably would dress this up i feel like it's giving me leather heels type of vibe stiletto heel yeah that's what's giving me oh let me show y'all the back but this is what the back looks like it's just uh, black, white, and orange on the back. But yeah, it's really cute. I like this. I feel like I can make a really cute outfit with this. And yeah, follow me on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, what are you doing? Okay, what are you doing? I get busy with the outfits. Okay, follow me on Instagram. I'm really trying to step it up this year too. Like be more active. Like post more than once a week. And really get into my details. Like getting detail pics. You know what I'm saying? So follow me on Instagram. Support your girl. Okay? But yeah, I love this. This is really good quality. 10 out of 10. Love it. On to the next item. All right, y'all. So this is the next item. And y'all... I was so excited about this item. I saw plenty of other Jersey She hauls of people getting this jacket. And when they reached out to me, this was first on the list. Like, I had to have this. This is another designer dupe. This is a Rick Owens dupe. I don't know how much it is, but I know there ain't nothing I'm going to be buying. <laughs> but it's so cute. Like, this is such a look, y'all. I love, like, the shoulder pads type of look. The long, puffy sleeves. It's giving. And it's really close to, like, the original as well. I'm missing a few details, like, around this area, I believe. But that ain't no big deal to me. I don't really be tripping about stuff like that obviously it's not rick owens and i don't care if you know if it's rick owens or not i'ma still wear it and i'm 
still gonna look cute. But anyway, as you can see, it's like a cropped jacket with the super long puffy sleeves, real thick, good quality. And then the black part of the jacket. I don't know what type of material this is, but I'm gonna just get up close so y'all can see maybe what I'm talking about. But that's the material of like the black part of the jacket. And then it's got silver hardware, the zipper is silver so you can zip it up if you want and it's just so cute like this might not be everybody's type of vibe and type of style but this is so cute to me like it's real different real cute i don't even know how it was styled is because i don't even want to like this got to be good like i got style this good i don't know but i'm at the sit on that one i'm at the sit on this when i get ready to style it but yeah if i haven't said already i got this jacket in a size small so you know get your regular size because you know this is how it fits the arms are like real baggy and loose um and then it's like more fitted up in here so i really like this y'all it's so cute to me it's not cold no more but you know sometimes winter like to pop in and play with spring like they don't know they play so if it get cold again i might be able to wear it it was cold a few days ago like it was cold but it's hot as ever outside today so i might not get the chance to wear it anytime soon but best believe i'm popping out with this if not during fall spring it's gonna be late fall and winter definitely popping out in this expect to see some pictures in this but yeah i love this y'all like i don't have nothing to say this is the back of it it's just so cute, like I love this. And I like Rick Owens, I like the original jacket and I also like their shoes. Some more jackets I saw by Rick Owens, it's not this type of style, but I like Rick Owens jackets, but girl, I'm not gonna be spending on Rick Owens money right now, so this will have to do. But yeah, really cute to me. The girls that get it, get it. The girls that don't, don't. 10 out of 10, on to the next item. All right, y'all, so this is the next item, this black letterman jacket with white details. I got this jacket in a size medium. This is the only other item I got in a size medium because I knew I wanted this to be a little oversized. I didn't want it to like fit regular. So this is the fit on me in a medium. Like I said, I normally wear a small, so you do with the information what you want to if you want like this type of look to yours then i suggest you size up but anywho let's get into it so as y'all can see it's like a letterman style type of jacket like i already said it's got the little patch right here this b with the white and it's also got something right what does it say beyond the range that's what it says right here beyond the range so i guess that's what this b is for i don't know but yeah and it's got the black and white details right here as well as on the cuffs of the jacket and also around the bottom of the jacket it has white buttons right here and they do button the buttons do work so you can button this up if you want to i probably wouldn't wear it button but you can button it if you want to and then the sleeves are like a pu leatherish type of material but it's definitely not giving like the biker motorcycle type of jacket the leather on that is thicker quality which i wish this was the same quality like the same material as the motorcycle jacket the biker jacket if the leather was like that like thick i would really like it like that i don't really care for it's still really cute don't get me wrong like i'm still weird i just feel like it would be better quality if the leather was like the leather on the biker jacket but it's still cute as you can see it's like more thin though like you see what i'm saying than the biker jacket but it's still cute still cool and then this material is sort of like a kind of like wool ish type material i don't know if y'all can tell what i'm talking about i'm gonna get real close so y'all can see i don't know it's giving like a wool ish type of vibe but yeah and then it also has pockets right here that do i know you lying well it has pockets right here but my hand just went through there was a hole in my pocket right here luckily i know how to sew and i have a sewing machine and i can fix this but maybe i shouldn't have to do all that but the pockets do work oh and then also on the pockets it has like the leather material right here that little detail on the pocket so that's really cute and then this is the back that's what the back looks like really cute i like this you really could wear it just like this with these black joggers it's got the white details, black, white details, white, black detail. I need mean, some black or white or black and white sneakers. Or you could do a pop of color. You do some red sneakers and put on a red bag. You know, that would be cute as well. But I really like the jacket. It's really cute overall. But I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 for, you know, the material right here being a little on the thinner, cheaper side. I'll prefer it to be like the material on the biker jacket. And then also because my freaking hand went right through this pocket. So 8 out of 10 on this. But it's still super cute. And I'm I'm gonna fix this and i'm gonna still wear it but yeah on to the next item all right y'all so this is the next item i want to get on here and show y'all how it comes like straight out the bag before i show y'all how it's supposed to look but i got this shirt in a size small it's this camo t-shirt but it's supposed to be like a cropped tie up type of tee so you just tie this section right here and boom, you got a cute little look going on now. You really could do this with any t-shirt. Just cut up right here and then cut down right here. That's what it looked like they did is just took some scissors and, but yeah, like I said, let me show y'all up close. The pattern is supposed to be this camo tie up 
crop tee with like a V cut right here. So, you know, you know, layer up your necklaces right here for that extra oomph, layer up your necklaces. But, anywho, this is not giving what it gave in the picture. It looks nothing like the picture at all. I'm gonna put the picture right here on the screen. I'm looking at it right now, cause I was looking at it, I took out the bag, I was like, I ordered this, but it don't look like this on the website. The color, like the background color is not the same. It's not like, it's more like a yellowish cream type of color and the, the picture is more like a khaki brown. And on the website, it says a gallery department right here or on the other side one, which I think is supposed to be another designer dupe. But yeah, that's not on here. My gallery department is not on there. The pattern of like the camo is not giving. And then the material like on the picture, it looks more like of a cotton t-shirt. This is definitely polyester and real cheap feeling and real cheap looking. But it's cute though. Like I really could make it work and I am gonna make it work. I'm gonna wear it because that's what I do. I make stuff work. But but it's definitely not giving what it's giving in the picture at all. So I don't appreciate that. Aside from that, I like the fit of it. I got this in a size small if I didn't say that. I do like the fit. I like the tie up detail. Like I said, you could do this with your own t-shirts. I like the sleeve length on it. I like the V cut, but I don't like the material. It's real like cheap and it's not giving what it gave in the picture at all. And I'm still missing details on the picture. Like you could at least put the gallery department on here and if he was gonna give me this cheap t-shirt, y'all didn't even put that on there. So yeah, but it's still like, it's still manageable. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's still something I could work with and it's still cute, but yeah, it just had those issues. So I'm gonna give this a five out of 10, just cause like I said, I don't like the material. I prefer like straight up cotton tees. I feel like that's the best, you know, quality for t-shirts. The color don't match like it did on the website and the design, the gallery department is not on there. So yeah, five out of 10 for this one. This is the first five out of 10. Everything else been pretty high scores. This is the first low score. But anywho, that's all I got to say about this one. On to the next item, which I believe is the last item. So let's get into it. All right, y'all. So here is the last item. And girl, you can't tell me this isn't cute. Let me move the hair so y'all can get all the action. So as y'all can see, this is a corset top. And girl, she is tight. Well, she gets tight. You can obviously tighten it in the back. I had to loosen it like straight out the... Thing. I'm thinking I'm just finna slide this on. Like, I'm just finna slide it on and boom. Cause you know, I'm a small girl. It don't take much for me to get into stuff, but I had to loosen this up because I it wasn't going. So yeah, you can adjust the back and she definitely is squeezing and holding me in. Girl, this is a waist trainer. Like, for real. This, um, the cup area right here doesn't have any wire in it. Like, you know, you would expect wire to be right here that keeps the shape. You know, it feels like it's wire in this part. It's gotta be wire in this part, but there's no wire right here but you know i don't need any of that anyway i don't have boobs as you can see so i don't need nothing to hold the girls up because it ain't no girls to hold so but yeah there is no wire right here but it's just like these little clasps right here you just you know hook it on like that and then it has these sleeves that scrunch right here on the arms i think it's a really cute detail and it's got slits also in the side i really love this this is my first corset and i love the whole corset trend that's going on right now i actually have another haul coming up with some corsets in it so i hope those fit like this because i love this like the fit of this 10 out of 10 the whole top 10 out of 10 i got this in a size small and i got white i don't know if they have other colors i believe they do have other colors but i got white because i got other color corsets for a different haul this is so cute like i don't even know how to style this um this might be one of those rare instances that i wear jeans i probably would wear jeans with this and like some cute heels it would be really cute like a brunch outfit some cute strappy heels or some white heels uh, or some stilettos but yeah i probably would style this with some jeans or some cute pants and like a real cute dainty little classy bag but i love this y'all 10 out of 10 and she snatches too like snatched for sure and ain't gonna be no <laughs> tugging and all that you you together like this is this is staying in place this is so cute i'm obsessed with this this is definitely one of my favorites i think my top two top three actually let me stop is the cargo pants the camo cargo pants the rick owens dupe and this those are my top three then my top three right there because this is definitely it like let me get up close so y'all can see like It's so cute. Now I gotta go to brunch. Look what y'all done did. Now I gotta go to brunch. Now I gotta spend some money. But yeah, I love it y'all. I recommend you get this for sure. So yeah, that was the last item in this haul. I also wanted to show y'all because they also sent some lashes with the clothes as well. So I just wanted to show y'all that, that they did send these lashes in the package. And oh, also this corset comes with this right here y'all. But I'm, you know, I don't need that. I won't be wearing that. I 
didn't even know that came with it. But yeah, that is it for this video. I will link all the items in the description box below if y'all want to purchase them. And you can also use the code JS16 for 16% off of your order. And thank you again to Jerry She for sponsoring this video. I'm so excited to be doing hauls, y'all. I'm so excited the hauls are back. But yeah, I had a lot of fun filming this video. So I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. But that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl channel, please. And thank you. And make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So make sure your post notifications are on and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.